I know I need to be an adult and do productive adult things today, but my brain is just like no way home, no way home. Three hours and 34 minutes to short time. We're on our way to Spider-Man. Zoom in, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom, boom. Three hours later. Just got out of Spider-Man. Danny, how you feel? No spoilers, but I'm screaming. It's also freezing, so. Fuck. Shit. Hey, Wisconsin. Hey, Wisconsin! So, hi. If I look a mess, it's because I am a mess. All I'm going to say is that no way home was incredible and there are two this is for there are two post credit scenes and you absolutely need to stay for both of them particularly the second one has me in a chokehold that's all i'm going to say on a non-spoiler level it was just it was amazing it's like no wonder that tom holland and zendaya are in love because you see it on screen so much. I am going to talk about some spoilers, but I'm going to save that for the very end of the video, so don't worry. I will let you know when it starts, and then you can just click off and not watch it until you've seen the movie or you feel like spoiling yourself. I don't know. So I think I'm going to try to read the x hex and maybe finish it if I can get myself in a state of emotions that it can handle more processing of media and things. I'll probably FaceTime Whitney because that's what I do. Maybe I'll play Animal Crossing first. Maybe that will help me just like because I need to Okay. Just a couple of gamer girls playing their games. When I tell you I was bullied into doing this new boss battle and we're like losing so hard and I'm so stressed and I hate my life. Don't let a tune named Joseph bully you into doing the new field offices. They're not fun. I'm having a bad time. Just gamer girl things. Okay guys, so if you have reached this point, this is the end of the video, which means I'm going to talk about my No Way Home spoilers. So if you have not seen the movie, if you do not want to be spoiled, exit out of this video right now. Don't fast forward or anything, there's nothing at the end, I'm only talking spoilers for the rest of this video. So go ahead and click that red X, come back and watch once you've seen the movie and we can all talk about it together, okay? So you're gone if you haven't seen the movie, if you don't want to be spoiled, you're gone. Okay, cool. Oh my god, y'all. I'm not okay. I wish I had talked about my predictions before seeing the movie because two of my biggest ones did indeed come true. In one of the group chats I'm in, we all love Spider-Man and we've talked about it a lot. And one of the theories that has come up in this group was that one, the line, with great power comes great responsibility had not been said. And that, like, what if May says it and then she dies? Which is what happened! Like, as, as mm. first of all, as soon as we got the opening scene of, like, May saying how she broke up with Happy, I, I knew right then that she was gonna die. Like, you're cutting off this relationship, she's gonna die. And then we got the scene where it happened and she was like, okay, and I'm like, no, she's not. She's not okay. And then when Peter was going on about how, like, it's not my job to try to save these guys, blah, 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 blah. And she started being like, no, no, I knew the line was coming and I knew she was gonna die. And honestly, that's not even the part that got me the most emotional. Probably because I did know in the back of my head it would happen. It was more so everything that happened afterward that I then just, like, broke down. Because right after that, we get MJ and Ned accidentally summoning Peter. But it's Andrew Garfield. 
<gasps> and like, okay, we knew. It was like 99.9% .9 sure they were in the movie, but it was still, oh my God. Literally the whole theater screamed when he came on and then screamed even more for Toby. And they were just so perfect. Again, some people in this group chat, they were talking about how like, it really could have been like a bunch of egos and like, err, between the three Spider-Mans, but they were just like, so sweet and soft with each other. And that's why like, Spider-Man is just so great because he's just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He's just this soft spoken, just nice guy. And ugh, there's that line, I think it's said by Andrew and he's like, I've always wanted brothers. And that absolutely ended me. The comment about Toby looking like a youth pastor was so accurate. Like, but the way he had just this quiet power about him was so beautiful. My other big prediction was that Andrew would be the one to catch MJ and save her in the way that he couldn't save Gwen, and he did. And afterwards, you know, he says, are you okay? And MJ's like, yeah. And then she like looks at him cause he's all emotional. And she's like, are you okay? I'm not okay. Like, is anyone gonna ask me? And there's also that scene in the lab where Andrew's watching Tom and Zendaya, Peter and MJ. And, and he's just like looking at them like, I just sobbed. I just sobbed so much over Andrew in particular. Like Andrew I got emotional about and Toby it was just like really cool. Because like I said for me Andrew is like my Spider-Man. But seeing all three of them on the screen together it's like so obvious that all three of them are perfect Spider-Man. Whew. I... I'm not okay. Uh -huh. I'm so happy that I watched Toby's Spider-Man movies before watching this because I would say his villains really take the spotlight and there's so much story there that I just wouldn't have understood if I hadn't gone in knowing and I'm just I'm very glad that I did. Also again I didn't think I'd be saying this again but I wish I had watched Andrews because I didn't really remember his villains but like there's enough emotion attached to there that just seeing him was enough and thinking about Gwen and just <sighs> all of that. I saw someone say that Andrew just brings chaotic bisexual energy to the character and to the movie and it's so true. They're just so nice like when they hug, when Andrew says I love you guys, when Toby is giving Andrew that pep talk and he's like you're amazing, say it, you're amazing. There were so many good things I couldn't even possibly talk about all of them. And this is just focusing on the three Spider-Man parts. There were also amazing parts in the fact that the message of the movie of bringing these villains back and trying to help them because they only became villains from the circumstances like they were scientists who went a little too far with their experiments and it wasn't who they were and people deserve a second chance and oh my god I'm gonna cry again when Tom is facing off with Green Goblin and he's about to kill him but then Toby steps in and all they have to do is look at each other and they have that long look it was just so good it was so good. And in the end, where everyone forgets him, I definitely think he feels the most like the other Spider-Mans by the end because he's in an apartment in New York City on his own. He's not really gonna be like an Avenger anymore with the Stark industry behind him. He's just Peter, your neighborhood friendly Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And I think they definitely did that because it's a very clean cutoff from the MCU with from what we know, the next trilogy of Tom Holland Spider-Man movies are not going to be Marvel. They're just going to be Sony because of like contract stuff. I don't know what that means for like Zendaya's character, for Ned, because at the end of the movie, Peter kind of accepts that like they don't remember him and like they're okay. And he's just on his own and it's just, I have no idea. I'm assuming he's going to figure out how to fix things with MJ and Ned and everybody. But like, I feel like they could also go in a different way of him not. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I can't even think of that right now. Ugh, I know there's definitely things I'm forgetting in terms of the movie itself. Like overall, I just loved it. I loved the Spider-Mans coming together. I'm sad that we're not gonna get that anymore because they were just so great together. Andrew was so funny. Toby was just so iconic in his soft, powerful presence. And I just loved the relationship between the three of them. So then there were the post credit scenes. The first one, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't care about because I haven't seen Venom. So I was just kind of like, okay. And the second post credit scene. If you know anything about me, then you know that my favorite Marvel character is Scarlet Witch, Miss Wanda Maximoff. Let me tell you, when I saw her, I like stood halfway up out of my seat because I was so just, 
<gasps> it wasn't even like a scene. It was almost like a mini trailer at the end. And there were so many just like little pockets of the next Doctor Strange movie, the Multiverse of Madness, I think it's called. But just seeing Wanda and knowing she's gonna be there, and I I don't have predictions and then there was like evil Doctor Strange or, or something. I was feeling many things. I was feeling many, 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 many things. So many people in my theater left too after the first post credit scene. I'm like, you missed like the best part. Trying to think of other things that I missed, that I didn't talk about. Oh, also last note, William Dafoe's acting, fan freaking tastic. Like give this man an award. The way he switches between Dr. Osborne and Green Goblin is just, it, it's so good. It's so good. And upon Googling him, he's from Wisconsin. How did I not know that this icon is from my state? my lands. I mean, not my lands, the, the Native American land that the white colonizers stole. But man, what a movie. I am going to feel the emotional impacts of that for a while. And honestly, I'm really wanting to watch like all the movies, but I may in particular watch Andrews just because I never got to them. I mean, I, I've seen them, but not since theaters. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your Spider-Man thoughts, but like don't be spoilerish. If you want to be spoilerish, feel free to like shoot me a DM on Twitter. But otherwise, keep it generic in the comments. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!